In this video, I will showcase 15 perfect seeds for Minecraft 1.18. These seeds have all of the new caves and cliffs biomes in close proximity to the spawn, and they look absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. That would help me out so much. This first seed spawns you on the edge of a snow slopes biome next to these giant mountains. Going west through the plains biome, you will run into a meadow village next to a beautiful lake. In the east, you will run into steep cliffs leading to a river. At the end of this river, you'll find yet another village on the edge of a cliff. This next seed spawns you in a forest, and not too far off from spawn, a village can be seen next to gorgeous jagged peaks. Within these peaks, a ruined portal can be found. Heading north and slightly to the east, a pillager outpost can be found relatively close to another village, and there's also a ruined portal next to it. And this deep dripstone cave, only a few blocks southwest of the spawn village, leads directly to a giant underground lava lake. Next up, this seed spawns you within the mountains. On this seed, northeast of spawn, a village can be found going across a river. However, within those frozen peaks south of spawn, you can also find a ruined portal with a dripstone cave leading to giant caverns. East of that ruined portal, a woodland mansion can also be found, the only one in this video. With this one, we spawn in a meadow surrounded by birch forests. The obvious thing to do here is check out the cave within the nearby jagged peaks which have a lush caves biome going through them. There's also a taiga village north of spawn. This cave under it doesn't seem like it has a lot to offer, but that's only until you enter it. While recording, I also found this villager outpost southwest of spawn. On this seed, close to spawn, you may find a beautiful lake wedged within giant mountains. Villagers have settled nearby, and there's also a ruined portal not too far from them. Under the frozen peaks northeast of the lake, there's a giant underground section, and it's really amazing. There's even a mine shaft. This next seed has a few things going for it. About half a kilometer south from spawn, on the edge of the frozen peaks, there is a plains and meadow village split by a ravine. Within the nearby meadow, a cave reveals a skeleton spawner. East from the village, a pillager outpost can be found on the edge of a pretty lake. I also found a savanna village with a ruined portal northwest of the pillager outpost, though it's a bit far. This next seed has a giant cave right underneath spawn with some waterfalls and a huge lava fall, but before you go explore that, you may find two nearby villages. Up this cliff, there is a drop which leads to a ginormous dripstone cave, and further away from spawn, there is yet another dripstone cave which drops you directly into a mine shaft. Take the passage between the two mountains and you will find another pair of villages. I was surprised to find this many villages, honestly. The next seed spawns you between two mountains, and right in front of you this village scales one of them. West of there is yet another village. What impresses me the most about this seed is the giant drips on caves. You can't miss them. There's one right where you spawn, and there's this intense one west to the second village, which also looks like it broke the simulation. I couldn't find any structures for this seed, but the lake east of spawn more than makes up for it. Not only does it have steep cliffs and good looking waterfalls, but it leads directly to a huge underground segment with dripstone. I certainly would not hesitate to build my house here, under the slip. On this seed heading directly northeast leads you to a village, and further, past the Sony Peaks, there's another. There's also a pillager outpost if you go east from the first village. Going north from the first village will instead lead you to a small lake, and going through its huge cave you will find a luxurious lush cave. Definitely one of my favorites so far. Once again, for this seed, I couldn't find many structures worth talking about. The stars of the show are definitely the jagged peaks, and at the summit of one of them is a ruined portal. I think this looks great, actually. Southwest of spawn, there's also this giant crater which exposes some lush caves to sunlight. There are two directions you may go with this seed. If you decide to go south and slightly east, you will find a plains village. Not too far off, you may also find a pillager outpost and a ruined portal. You could also go west and slightly to the north and find a savanna village. Not too far away, within the river, there's an opening which leads to a mine shaft. There's a lot of value given within this one seed. West and slightly to the north of the spawn of the seed is a plains village. Not too far from that is a giant opening within which hides a mine shaft. If you instead decide to go northeast, this giant stone wall dominates this ocean. At the southwestern end of that stone wall is the biggest cave I've ever seen. Or at least it was, until I loaded this next seed. East of spawn is this insane cave which leads to a giant lava pool. You can clearly see it from the surface. Northwest of spawn is a plains village as well, so you should probably stop there before you go exploring that cave. And finally, we have this seed, which I love the landscape of. Out of all of the seeds we have seen, and this has got to be the prettiest one. We find a lake south of spawn, which is surrounded with a jungle on one side and a village on the other. To me, the mountains in the background really seal the deal, but in case that wasn't enough, a cave can also be found near the village, which leads to a mine shaft. Walking through this mine, you will make your way to an enormous strip zone cavern. Remember to like and subscribe and check out this playlist where I go over more Minecraft seeds.